is the shocking border video that's causing outrage in Washington and beyond. But the White House isn't even sure if President Biden has seen it. More than 100 migrants trampling over a group of National Guardsmen and ripping through razor wire to reach the U.S. Somehow the media attempting to lay the blame for that on Donald Trump. If I were a Democrat running for office, I would do this. I would be carrying this around all day. Look at what the Republicans are doing to you. Look what Donald Trump's doing to you. Donald Trump said, kill the bill and blame me for everything that happens after this point. Donald Trump said, blame me. So yes, Donald, we are blaming you. Fox Business reporter Hillary Vaughn catching up with some Democrats on the Hill who seem very reluctant to call what happened there an invasion. Is this an invasion? I, I know that you are trying to ask a gotcha question. Of course, you don't want anybody getting assaulted. Um, I wouldn't use the word invasion, and I'm seeing there's a lot of disinformation about what happened. I saw the video. I've, I've read reports um, that a lot of those folks were on U.S. soil already. So the New York Post reporter who actually captured those stunning images claims that those stampeding migrants have been released into the U.S. under Title VIII and will be able to make a case for asylum. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre not denying that. Everyone was apprehended by the Border Patrol agents. That is important to know. They were apprehended. Were they deported? What, they were apprehended. I can't speak to individ individual cases. Jesse apprehended. But I think for most people who see that video, regardless of where you are in this debate over immigration, you don't feel like that, that group of people should just be released into the U.S. They released them already. Sounds like it, most of them. Yeah, they're, they're, none of them were deported. They were all caught and released, Process. as is every single invader that comes across. I liked the Democrat that said, well, it was an invasion they had already invaded. <laughs> well, what is that supposed to mean? This is like you move into someone's house and you tear down the fence, you open the gate and you unlock all the doors. And then all of a sudden, the entire neighborhood pours into your house and you blame the previous owner. What are you talking about? You're the one that tore down the gates, the fences, the locks, and took away the security. That's what Joe Biden's trying to do. And I don't know the difference between Joe Biden and Joe Scarborough. They're both yelling at me. <laughs> one's yelling at me at 9 o'clock at night. The other one's at 6 in the morning. Why are they yelling at me? Why? You don't listen. <laughs> I listen. I listen for, like, five hours apiece when I interviewed all these coots. <laughs> you should have been in the book, Jessica. <laughs> You have a book out? Man, no one <laughs> don't I have no to tell you, Shannon. We don't know. Okay, so we get to this issue with Joe Scarborough, Katie. You know, he's saying, okay, blame Donald Trump and all these people. I talked to, by the way, Senator Lankford this afternoon, who spent four months negotiating that thing that didn't go anywhere. And I said to him, I've asked him before, what, you know, Republicans, you spent all this time negotiating, and now you're going to get blamed for this thing not getting passed. I mean, we know working. it took three years to get here, but are some people going to buy that? This is not working. The polling is showing Trump running away with the issue of illegal immigration, with Hispanics. This issue is going to the right, pushing more people to the Republican Party. I would point out that this took place in El Paso when Joe Biden went to El Paso the first time in history of him going to the border. They North Korea style got everybody out, so he didn't see any of this going on. He didn't see a single illegal immigrant crossing the border, didn't see anyone in the detention center. This is what's really going on. And the details of this are actually very important here. The fencing that is put up, that was from the Texas National Guard. They're the ones trying to, pre to prevent these people from coming in. The Border Patrol, under direction from Joe Biden, is supposed to let them in, process them, and then let them go. So all of these guys, and many, like millions of them, like them, have been processed and let go into the country. And Democrats are they're not concerned about it. They think it's just fine. They actually think these people should own guns, and they're in your neighborhoods. And so this is what they're dealing with, and this will be in lots of different ads, and people can see for themselves. It's kind of like telling people inflation is better. People can see what's happening on the border, and they know the difference between Trump's border policies and Biden's, regardless of this bipartisan bill. And the bipartisan bill wouldn't have fixed this issue. Remain in Mexico would help a lot. Oh, I thought it was interesting that Brandon Judd, who heads up the Border Patrol um, Agents Council, said this morning that this isn't actually a, a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, Jessica, he said this just happened to be that there was a camera there that caught this, but he says this actually does happen regularly. I, I would believe that. I don't know if it's as many people each time, but I'm sure that things like this happen constantly. And it's tough and they're understaffed. And those are things that the bipartisan border bill would get done. But I've 
noticed the proverbial tea leaves are saying this just isn't going to happen. And we know that Donald Trump wants to run on it. That's fine. But it's not going to get passed, right, by the time that the election comes around. So this is what it's going to be like. And for Democrats and border Democrats, the way they talk about the border is so different mm -hmm. from the way that Democrats in other parts of the country do. Obviously, some that are near these liberal metropoles that have had migrants bust in have changed their tune about it. They mm -hmm. sound more like a John Fetterman. But if you listen to a Mark Kelly talk about it, even Katie Hobbs, sometimes he was talking about the National Guard there, Henry Cuellar, mm -hmm. it's a different world. And it will become close to an insurmountable problem for Democrats if this isn't addressed. I couldn't believe this. This Monmouth poll has support for a border wall for the first time mm -hmm. in history Majority. over 50 percent. It, it peaked at 44 percent when Donald Trump was president, someone who was talking about the wall all the time. 60 percent say illegal immigration is a very serious problem. And 61 percent want migrants to stay in Mexico while their asylum claims are processed. Now, you need cooperation from Mexico for that to be able to happen. And that's happen. very questionable. Very questionable. Point. And they don't want to do that. But when you think about Trump that, got him to do it. Trump is amazing. Uh, when you think about that, that's where the American psyche is at this moment. You need to get something done. So, Greg, is that the these poll results mean that um, what President Biden has done for three years has pushed people to now embrace Trump policies? Well, I yeah, I think that. Uh, well, first, let's go to Joe Scarborough. OK, this is why it's so important to have friends. <laughs> right. Like I consider to all of you my friends. And that means if I were ever to become like that, <laughs> I would expect one of you to kill me. And you have my What's My your, approval that you could, sh even you, Sham Bam. What's your preferred I, method? I don't <laughs> surprise me. Advance. Back of the head. Surprise I don't care. You, okay. But don't ever let Greggy become that <laughs> crazy. The logic here that it's somehow Trump's fault for this incredible mess, that's like Mika blaming Joe's ex-wife for ending up with Joe as her loser husband. No, 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 no. Don't blame her. Blame yourself. We're allowed to call this an invasion, right? I was thinking of an undocumented nature walk or a parade for peace. But it is insane. We've had, you know, young men and young women have fought and died defending this country from various attacks. And in this case, we just lay down and say, come on in. I mean, we, God forbid we act like any other country. And, and respect our home. But here we've been brainwashed by the media that b believing in a border is nationalistic, xenophobic. I think the Democrats also have to make up their minds. You can't have a porous border and free stuff at the same time. And they advocate for both. So what you see is America turning into one giant smash and grab, a nationwide target. Can you <laughs> so back to the part and repeat about how we can kill you again? Uh, um, he I said like, just to surprise like him. Don't yeah. like this part. No, yeah, no, you can't just do it. You have to, if I become anything like that. Okay. Can we reject the request or put it on someone else? We're going yes. to get creative. I think Jesse's going to take it. We'll discuss during the commercial. All right, up next, Democrats about to go nuclear on what some say is the biggest threat to President Biden's reelection. Third party candidates. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.